Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to talk about dehydration and IBD, how they go hand in hand with one another. That's what we're talking about today. Let's just jump straight into it. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of when I upload, and let's get straight into this discussion. So first things first, what is IBD? It stands for inflammatory bowel disease. The two main diseases under this umbrella term is Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. They affect your GI tract. Ulcerative colitis is seen in the large intestine, your colon, where Crohn's disease is all over your GI tract, but it is mainly in your small intestine, but again, it can attack any part of your GI tract, including your colon. I have personally Crohn's disease, I've had it for 19 years. I have multiple videos on what IBD is, so I will link some videos in the description box down below if you are curious and learning more about IBD. The main thing to know about IBD is it is an autoimmune disease, which means your body is attacking itself. We have normal flora, which is good bacteria, that is in our body and helps our body understand what is good bacteria and the bad bacteria that enters our body. So it can fight off invaders. But when you have an autoimmune disease, it views our good bacteria, our normal flora, as invaders. So it's going to attack that normal flora, which is in our GI tract, thus getting IBD. So you get things like inflammation, diseased intestine, mucus, blood, fistulas, cuts, things like sores, ulcers, just damaged intestine, making it difficult for absorption in nutrients and hydration, which is what we're talking about today, hydration. Now that we got that part, let's talk about what hydration is, dehydration to be exact. So dehydration is the absence of significant amount of water in your body. Think about if you're, the big thing is if you're thirsty, you're already mildly dehydrated. Water and staying hydration and staying hydrated is very important for your body because water electrolytes help our body function more than I think any of us realize. And losing as little as 1.5% of our body's water can cause symptoms. And our natural response for our body is to tell you that you're thirsty and for you to start drinking. Now you may know that our body is two thirds of water. So that's 55 to 78% of our body is made of water. If we break it down even more, the brain and the heart is 73% water. Bones are 31%, muscles and kidneys are 79%, skin is 64%, and your lungs are 83%. That is a lot, and that shows you just how important staying hydrated is because dehydration can affect your organs, and if you're really badly dehydrated, you can actually go into kidney failure and really damage your organs. So staying hydrated is utmost important for your body to stay functioning correctly. So what exactly are a few things that water help do within the body? Well, it helps aid in digestion and getting rid of waste. It helps work and lubricate the joints. It makes saliva to help break down foods and make it easier to swallow. It balances the body's chemicals and deliver oxygen throughout the body. It cushions your bones. It helps regulate the temperature within the body. And it also helps prevent you from overheating in hotter climates. So what is the cause of dehydration? Well, it's simple. You not drinking enough or losing water quickly from things like sweating, exercise, and not drinking enough and replacing that water you're losing. 
What are some signs and symptoms of dehydration? Well, if you are headache, fatigue, dizziness, weakness, dry mouth, high heart rate, low BP, which is blood pressure, loss of appetite, flushed face, chills, and a dark color urine. Normally, when you go to the bathroom, your urine should be a light color of yellow. When it's not, when it's a more darker color, that is a sign that you are more dehydrated than you are hydrated. Now let's talk about the link between IBD and dehydration. So I kind of touched a little bit on it earlier, but when you have inflammation and disease in the intestine, it affects the ability for the intestines to absorb the water, electrolytes, minerals, and even nutrients. It has to work twice as hard because of this challenge it has. Especially if, say, you had surgery and had one of the intestines removed, like in my case, I have an ostomy. I no longer have my large intestine. So, within your small and large intestine, these nutrients, electrolytes, minerals, all of that is being absorbed within your large and small intestine. When you have one of them gone, inflammation, disease, it has to work twice as hard to absorb that good stuff that you need within your body. So it is more recommended that you should drink twice as much because of that reason. It is recommended you to drink at least six, eight ounces of water a day. So that is why people with IBD dehydrate faster and dehydration goes hand in hand with IBD. There are a few ways that you can stay hydrated with things if you aren't too fond of water, just flat out water. Cause I know I am, I have a hard time just drinking flat out water. I'm fine if it's like ice water, but I can't drink it all the time. So they say like clear broth, ice pops, water with lemon. Like I love adding lemon and cucumber in my water. I can drink it that. Sports drinks, fruits and vegetables, you actually get a lot of nutrients and water from fruits and vegetables but um, I do want to make it known when it comes to sports drinks you got to pay attention to sports drinks because sodium if it has a high sodium rate in it that actually can dehydrate you more drinks like Gatorade I would recommend you not drinking Gatorade because that will dehydrate you more. It has such a high sodium count in it that it actually will dehydrate you more. I am going to be doing a video in the future about hydration drinks. So far I've only found one that really helps me personally. Whenever I am feeling really weak and fatigued and dehydrated, I drink um, vitamin water and it peps me up so easy. It has the antioxidants, all the vitamins, electrolytes with a very low sodium rate. It has, well this one is um, the pomegranate blueberry and it has zero sodium in it. So the next time you're feeling really sluggish and you think you might be dehydrated, try vitamin water. That's my recommendation. Drinks not to drink, coffee, tea, energy drinks, soda, they will dehydrate you more. To be honest, I still drink tea and uh, energy drinks. I try to stay away from soda nowadays, but tea and energy drinks every now and then isn't bad for you though. But, but we're talking about when you're feeling dehydrated. You shouldn't drink these like every day on a constant basis, all day, every day. You want to drink as much water and as much drinks that will keep you hydrated. So the best way to do that is waters, objects that have additional electrolytes, antioxidants, minerals, vitamins, things like that. That is what I have for you. That is the big thing between IBD and dehydration. You just got to drink. So important when it comes to IBD and dehydration. I mean, I live in North Carolina and it's so hot here and it makes it so difficult because I could just step outside and just feel the heat just suck the life out of me and I just have to drink constantly and that it 
it can make it difficult because you feel like you that is like always on your mind like okay I gotta drink 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 and it, it does suck because it feels like that's always on your mind but it beats being in the hospital constantly to get IV fluids which I have been there a lot of times where I get so dehydrated I'm in the hospital for a few days just getting fluids or overnight just to get fluids it it's not you don't want to get to that point so be weary of it have it in the back of your mind i hope you guys learned something today let me know if you guys have any little tips and tricks anything you guys want to add in the comment section down below let me know if any of this you didn't know and what your guys' thoughts are on it i'd love to hear it i love your guys' conversations Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and well and stay hydrated. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.